Man, what's up, everybody? This is Life. What it do, y'all? It's your boy Swallow. And your boy Mike Diller. And this is Just Do the Damn Thing Podcast. Yes, What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Just do the damn thing. We're about to bring up our product of the week. So let's bring that up. Let's do it. Yes, sir. So this yeah. week, the product of the week is going to be our OMG joggers. We had it last week, but Ooh. we're going to do another one this week because, you know, it's cold as hell outside. So, yeah. you know, we got some sweatpants for you guys just to, you know, feel warm out there. You can yeah. go to www.theomgbrand.com. Click on the store and just do the damn thing. Yes, yes, sir. Her. Those are hard. All right. Trickers All right, man. y'all. So as you guys can tell, we got a special guest with us this week, Mr. Mike yeah. himself in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, appreciate so appreciate you man. stopping by. Yes, Thank you sir. for having me, and man. And if you guys I don't know, it. he was actually one of our creatives of the week. It was like yes. two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. Uh, yeah, weeks ago. yeah. Yeah, man. Appreciate so we got y'all. him on. Guys, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys yeah. for tuning in. Uh, we got another episode for you guys. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of reminiscing on this episode, a little bit of nostalgia even. Uh, we're yeah. going to talk about what was our um, more favorite, I guess you could say, part of our life so far and what we think will be the best part of our life going forward. Okay. Um, I was out last week. I'll just go ahead and start it off this week. But um, I want to go ahead and say that the, fa- the best part, best period of my life so far uh, was as... Um, uh, in my childhood, when I was living off of uh, Madison and Casaloma, uh, if you guys don't know where that's at here in uh, in Bakersfield, it's on the south side. It's in it's in the country. Uh, it's not the best. Uh, it's not the best part of the city. That's right. I'll go ahead and say that. Um, but I did live there for a good portion of my childhood, nice. from like um, how old was I? Maybe like seven to like. 12, 13 years old or something like that. And that period of my life, I want to say, was the best time of my life so far. Um, Like I said, it's not the best part of the city. It's not the most glamorous by any means. Uh, But make the best. Right. So back then, like, I felt like we didn't need much to like to be happy. Yeah, 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 that's so true. We we didn't need much. So true. Like all, all we needed was me, my brothers and a football. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. nowadays, kids yeah. gotta have their iPads and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Just to keep them content. Unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessarily. You know what I mean? I think it's doing kids more harm than anything. Yep. You know what I mean? But uh, back then, because we had a big old backyard, like I said here, in, uh, it's called the country, um, and we had a big backyard. So all we needed was a football, go outside and play. Um, it, it just, oh, yeah. there, there was no feeling like it. Like even where I lived before or where we moved afterwards, it, it okay. just wasn't the same. It was just a, a feeling of like peace and yeah. serenity. I just don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> I know exactly what just, you mean. Yeah. yeah, like we just found it in that pocket of the city. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, now we've yeah, moved around ever yeah. since and have, haven't been able to, to, to get it the same. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just yeah. not the same, you know? But uh, definitely shout out to Madison Casaloma, Casaloma Elementary hey. School. Yes, sir. Uh, best period of my life so far, no doubt. That's right. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Um, we'll go ahead and. Uh, you want me I'll, to go ahead and hop yeah. in into mine, mm-hmm. and we'll do the other thing, the yeah. other part of the question the later. Second half. Okay. Of the yeah, yeah. So, the best period of my life, well, of course, I can be cheesy and say, you know, being a uh, being a husband and a dad, but uh-huh. I'm gonna do the also nostalgia area uh-huh. era of my life, which was my junior high year all the way up to my sophomore year of high school. Uh, mainly my junior high year because that's actually when I found the love of my life as far as what I'm involved in. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is also where I found the love of my life. (laughs) My wife actually I met in junior high. So I I met my wife in junior high, but also I was introduced to skateboarding Mm -hmm. at at that period of time. Okay. Nice. I was always in the big, always in the sports. So I played basketball, baseball, mm-hmm. and all these other soccer and all these other sports. But right, then skateboarding right. came along and just took over. I was yeah. just every single day skateboarding. Uh-huh. 
And my dad, you know, he taught at the elementary school right next to my junior high, which is called Harding Elementary School. Okay. And then I went to Compton Junior High. They're right next door to each other. There's literally a gate that goes to both <laughs> places, that goes to both schools. Right. Nice, nice. So he would, um, shout out to my, my, one of my best friends, Sam Valdez. He's like a brother to me. Uh, we kind of started skateboarding at the exact same time. <laughs> okay. So my That's dad, right. you know, would stay after school like for an hour you know teachers do that you know they stay after school right. for an hour get the lesson plans going and everything like that yeah. so they're never really off of work mm -hmm. um and so since he did that my friend sam literally lived like right down the street so every day me and my boy sam would go to his house and we would skate and play with tech decks and do all yeah. kinds of shit and nice, like nice. it was the best feeling in the world because right. like it was the one of those things where every day was a happy day uh -huh. that's what it felt that's like amazing. there was nothing like in my way there was nothing that was going on that made me sad or anything right. like that it was just and that's always... how i felt too yeah. yeah and then of course going back home then i would go outside play basketball with my friend derek and daniel and all these other people around the neighborhood nice, and nice. you know i even played street hockey in, <laughs> in, the, la in the neighborhood <laughs> yeah. so everything fine, i was fine. i started consuming a lot of different things at that point in time right okay. so like you know like i said skateboarding uh i i started doing bmx for a uh -huh. little bit started rollerblading yeah. and yeah. doing all kinds of random things driving go-karts because my friend's dad built a go-kart nice. so it was just <clears throat> like yeah, yeah that, that's amazing. popping right there that's amazing. kid popping that's, yeah, that was kid kid, popping. that's, kid that's popping. old school yeah. popping right there <laughs> and yeah, then we're, and then of course my family you know uh, i was old yeah. we're very family oriented so like like yeah. at that period of time, you know, I still had um, my grandpa and my mom there. Uh, they both passed away when I was young, but mm -hmm. at that time they were still there and yeah. they would always have big family gatherings where it's just like yeah. we always see each other and always happy to see each other. So definitely mm -hmm. that period of time was my I, I, I think that's super dope that your friend lived like right down the street from where your dad taught. Oh, you yeah, it was, it, yeah was, it, it was crazy because. My my uncle is also was a teacher too, also a vice I believe a vice principal. Same school. No, a different school, but down the street. Yeah, not, have, that, uh, not that far away. You either. have to make sure your grades so, was excellent. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in elementary Daddy school, yeah, they there. were. Oh my god, you're <laughs> done, son. And, you know, <laughs> my dad uh in um in summer school, my dad was my teacher for one of my classes. Nice. And I sat right next to my cousin. So we got in trouble <laughs> okay. every damn day. Because <laughs> we always talk to each other. I'm like, how are you going to sit us next to each other, yeah. dad? Like, nice, what are you nice. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was dope because, you know, my uncle also, my uncle literally lived one street away from my friend Sam. So oh, if I didn't okay. go to his house, I can go to my uncle's house. Yeah. yeah. And my uncle, you know, had a pool. Yeah. He had a pool table. Uh -huh. So I can always just go over there, have fun as well. Man, that's, that's but perfect. it was just perfect. <laughs> it was just the area, the perfect area. After of, school. After school. For you, oh, man. man. Oh, yeah. And junior, <laughs> I know it was crazy. I was, the after school hour. I was the best thing Ooh, popping fire. ever. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, also the person that got me to skate, uh, Todd Vincent um, and uh, Devin Calloway. You know, I met I met uh, Todd in elementary school. He was skating in elementary school, and that was that's what first piqued my interest. Mm -hmm. But I didn't start until junior high, and he was just dope. And I was the only black kid I've ever seen skateboarding until I met Devin Calloway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after all that, just popping, always yeah, popping, just took just off. All, just everything took off. Skating yeah. every single day, going yeah. to Beach Park, going all the like you know our parents uh, or my friends' parents would randomly drive us to places to go skate. <laughs> so it was just. Best best Good time of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, time. definitely. Yeah. How about you, Mike? What what's the best period of your uh, life so far? I think mine was uh when we won the World Series when I was uh playing major league baseball at the park. We won a uh, state state world series and oh. my grandma had twenty one kids, so they had kids <laughs> and twenty one yeah. <laughs> All my cousins was related. Everybody had the, the same last name. Yeah, were you guys all on the same team? Yeah, we all on the same team. <laughs> Man. And we won three years in a row. Team. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was magical, bro. Like, I think that was, like, my best time because it was, like, when you work so hard for something and you win that, it's, like, yeah. it's like that, that, how, inner, how, how that inner high. How old were you in those days? Oh, well, shit, I was... 13? 13. 13. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, but my brother threw a no-hitter game, like... No, yeah, bro. That's crazy. It was over. Like, to the point where my dad made everybody sit down. Like, he was like, everybody sit down. <laughs> so my brother was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> bro, it was <laughs> over, <laughs> bro. Like, watch. that was like my That's favorite funny. time ever. That's I was funny. the back catcher, too. So it was just basically me and him just playing. He just striking everybody out. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's crazy. So that I didn't, was like, I didn't know that you were really into baseball like that. Oh yeah, man, I love baseball. I was what? in the, I'm in the oh same. My God. Uh, I had the same same thing happen to me where yeah. I was in JBA. Okay. And so we won the one of the series as well. Yeah. And I actually made the the game winning double play. Don't it feel good? Oh my God. Yeah. It, it, it's a it was it's an inner it it's like an inner high to where it's amazing. like. Oh! I was like, I know exactly you know, you how you feel, feel it. It's like, so you just like chase that that same one, of, you know, uh, success in life. Just like, oh, I want that feeling back. All right, mm-hmm. you said so, you guys won the won the World Series three years in a row. Yeah, three years in a row, bro. Victoria Park, um, or is that, Carson. That, no, it's in Carson, okay, California. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, bro. And my dad used to have us practicing like. Oh my God! So, so your dad was the was the, was the coach. Was the yes, coach? my dad was the coach, and my uncle was the coach. Oh man, we used to get whoopings at practice. Like <laughs> this, is, this is real. This is this That's is a real. real practice, right? There. Yeah, Damn like it. yeah, man. It's like <laughs> he he made us to be like straight monsters on that field, bro. Yeah. He taught us how you know to separate your personal life from war. So uh-huh. it's like when you're on that field, it's war time. So it was like we all just had that same you channel all locked in. Huh? Oh my God, was we, bro? It was. We was doing double plays and bro, we was killing them. Man, like, yeah. man. Like, oh I my feel, god, man, I feel you. That I'm, was that. That see was how, see thing. how the smile on my face is like super. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm ready For to go though. back in time. Like man, you know what I mean? Like oh, I miss that. I, I miss that too. love. Yeah. I miss that. You know that that comfort is now when you get grown. It's like you gotta do the comfort. Yeah, exactly. you know. But when now, you a kid, it's like, like oh, I ain't gotta worry about nothing. But. Man, you that kids dope, man. love sick, your though. your childhood. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. Because when it's <laughs> when it's over, yeah, yeah. it's done, done. Like you're you're yeah, just. Like, and, yeah. and it's crazy because like, when, when you're a kid, you don't think about getting older. You don't. Think nah, about, you don't. Like, growing. You don't. And it's not till you become an adult that just hits you one day. It like, smacks you. Right? Yeah, it's like, like oh, it's I'm an adult like, forever now. It's, 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 <laughs> it's over. Really, it's really like life really doesn't even prepare you for it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't turn. 20 yeah. something and you get kicked out of your house or whatever the case may be uh-huh. it is everything just says yeah all at once man How yeah, you levitate all. real quick it is like what you're gonna do you yeah, know what I mean? it's like you your choices uh, uh, uh. Man. <laughs> and you better pick quick. the right one too because it'll it, 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 it lead you into either the right path or the wrong path mm-hmm. is all up to your choices you know what i mean yeah. that yeah. we make so you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. Enjoy Facts. your childhood, kids. Man, man. please out. look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> your childhood. Like, you can see all, all of us all of our the same thing. So far, like around <laughs> the same time. Like, <laughs> around the man. same time. You know what I mean? So enjoy it. Make great yeah. memories. Facts. You know what I mean? And then when you get older, then you'll be able to pass that on to your kids or whatever yeah. the case may be. Yeah. You know? So that's Facts. dope. Um, so, so obviously, out there, you guys, if you guys have. The best period of your life that you guys want to tell us, obviously Man. put it down in the comments and let us it, know how you, what was the best period of your life. I would guess it's probably sometime in your childhood. Uh, I, would, I would think the same. Even yeah. though I will say that one of my managers, one of my recent managers said the best period of her life so far was college. Mm. Okay. It was her years in mm. college in the in the uh, that's, university? That's, I can see why. I can see why. Because like, I can't. I, I, I can. See, this is. I can, I, tell I can you, too. I'm gonna tell you why. I, I can why? too. So the one the one thing that I can say about college for certain people is the for certain depending on who you are, obviously, because mm. some people they go there and they figure out the party scene, and mm-hmm. then it's like every day is a college party. The the fraternities, sororities, yeah. and then you're networking like crazy with everybody. Mm-hmm. It's just a really good time. You're starting to really develop your mind at the same time, yeah. so you're learning yeah. a lot. Yes, college may be hard, like the homework and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. there's a lot of people that get like straight A's in high school and in college and they also party every single damn weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So, yeah. Um, but you know, that's, I could see how some people would say college too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, see, I, I can't, cause I, college is hard as hell. College yeah. is yeah. stressful. You got to yeah. work and you got to go to college. I mean, unless, unless you got to, you know what I mean? You got parents. But that's, I was about to say that. I was about to say you know that. I mean? that's I, if your parents thing. are ta- taking care of you, then I could see how college would be more enjoyable. But if you got to work and go to college, no, forget about it. It's terrible. Yeah. I, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it. I but feel hey, so well, what's your uh, favorite period of your life so far? Yeah. And then, so the second half of the question is, uh, what do we think is going to be the best period of our life oh, man. forward? What? You know what I mean? So um, for mine, um, I would say, because I don't have kids yet, you know what I mean? But sure, if the sure. Lord should bless me with some kids, it's probably be, you know, fatherhood. You know, oh, but, yeah. you're gonna you know once it. you become a father, though, you're, you're a father it. for the rest of your yes, life. Sir. You know what I mean? It's just <clears> not a segment of your life. So, like, it's kind of yeah. hard to say, but I think I think it, it would really be a blessing. 
you know, if the Lord was to bless yeah. me and my, my wife, and, you know, if we have kids in, in, the, in, the, in the future, you know what I mean? God, God willing. Um, and then, so then I could, so then we could pass that down to our kids. Like I was sure. saying, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When I was in the backyard, just yeah. having fun, I mean, mm -hmm. no worries Man. in the yep. world. No worries. Now I could pass that on to my kids, yes, have sir. them go out in the backyard and throw, play cat. Cause my dad never Man. played cash with yeah. us really. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Just me, yeah, me, me and my bros. So, you know what I mean? Go out there, play, yeah. play with the kids, nourish them, watch them mm -hmm. grow, have them have the time of their lives. Good life. Cool. Good life. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. life. Straight up. For me, kid, I want to be dude. like my dad too because, you know, yeah. he encouraged me to do all the things that I mm -hmm. did as a kid. And he was he was even my track coach. So, you know. Teacher and track run. coach? <laughs> Lee, you could have run from your daddy boy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, my dad has literally trophies from BHS for breaking records from. <laughs> from Hey. So nah, I ain't, I ain't couldn't run. No weapons, Doc. No weapons. Doc. I, I, just, I just took those weapons. So I wasn't even gonna attempt to run. <laughs> and he was a freaking ref at the time, running up and down the court. Oh and stuff. man, no, I'm good. I'm oh good. man, what's well, dope? I'm glad that your dad was active. Man, oh yeah, For real. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's still active. active. He's seventy. He's seventy-two, and he still does push-ups. So that's right. Man, that's right. right. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, my that's dope. dope. But you know, if I if I'm blessed to be a father, well, I would say that'd be the best period of my life. You know, passing. That love yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, what's what would you say? Well, going forward. Obviously, I'm already a father. Exactly. So, um, my, are, are, my, uh, real quick, are, are you a father? Yes, I have yes. two. Oh, two kids. Nice, okay, nice. 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 Right, sorry, go so on. right now, I have one, uh, and it's uh, you know a girl, and she's amazing, and that's mm -hmm. definitely already starting the best part of my life. Being a father is right. Yeah. Totally amazing, and, 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 and yeah. people don't even like people really can't explain how good it is because yeah. like you see yourself and your child yeah. and then the love you feel for that child is mm -hmm. just bar none like you and <laughs> it's funny because you're super yeah. as a dad if you have i don't know if you have a daughter but yeah so you know girl. the overprotectiveness yeah. of that <laughs> of the child is, yeah. is like way up here oh yeah like for sure every little thing she does you don't want her to fall you don't you know you're gonna you want to oh, save yeah. her at all times oh yeah for sure man. but besides that um I think the best period is when I start actually um, be meeting all my goals as, as of now. And one of those biggest goals is to be wealthy mm -hmm. and reaching that peak of being wealthy and be, able, and be able to give back to the community the way I want to. Right. Righteous, so that, that's the one thing I that's even it. have it in one of that song and that song, uh, Feel Free. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, I love that song, by the way. That's one of, <laughs> one of my favorites, you guys. Yeah. It's one of my favorite song. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, so in one of my songs, I, you know, talked about how I would love to build skate parks, you know, since mm -hmm. I am a skateboarder, it would be amazing, but also get the youth involved in that. So like, yeah. you know, teach them, uh, you know, when I have contractors go out and build those mm -hmm. skate parks, I would love the kids to help out and do the same thing so they can learn that trade if they want to. Yeah. So they can learn cement yeah. laying. If, if I do a cement park, wood and construction, right, all that kind of stuff. Because right. yeah. we don't really have a lot of trade systems in our school, so that would be dope. Mm -hmm. But I think that would be yeah. definitely one of the best periods of my life, being able to mm -hmm. be wealthy, but also give back to the community the way I want to. Nice. Right, and, and, and when you say wealthy, you literally mean <clears throat> having a lot of money. Yes, okay. having a lot of money, but wealth also means longevity money. So mm -hmm. the thing that I'm capable of passing down to my kid and passing down to others that may not even be part of my family, but family is what you make it. So like, yeah. so if I can help somebody else be in that same financial freedom, mm -hmm. I would love to do that. No. Yeah. So yeah. It's, no. all, it's all about yeah, building, no. man. Because that's the I believe. To me, I believe we had this episode. What we would do if money wasn't uh, an issue. Right. And I would. And a lot of us, uh, some people on this earth, have that particular thing yeah. where they don't have an issue doing whatever they want. They could travel right. whenever. Yeah. They can do whatever. Sure. Mm -hmm. And and I know that uh, easily takes a weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yes, sir. What about yeah. you, Mike? Going forward, what do you think would be the best period of your life? Uh, well. I want to shout out my kids, Michael and Peyton. Um, shout out. Hell yeah, shout out. 17 out. and 13, my babies. Um, they ain't babies no more. No, yeah. they, they not, man. And when I say, <laughs> and when I be like, yeah, I got to get my babies, and people see them, they be like, your mm. son is 6'1". <laughs> Your daughter is almost taller than you. I'm like, oh, it's still so my they babies. Get the hype from? <laughs> and I'm not sure there's one in my family. Everybody else oh, okay. is, I yeah, that. everybody's tall. So okay. I just, yeah, I'm, I just... Five eight, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, stands ten foot though. You know how we do it. <laughs> but um, going forward, um, I want to just get the knowledge to the people. You know, to mm -hmm. our people. Um, 
melanated, all melanated, purple, green, red, you know, mm -hmm. um, and get the knowledge that that was stolen from us, give it back to us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm all about. And to me, the money will come with it, but I'm, I just want to be like, just just get the message. Don't F the messenger, just get the message. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like sometimes, it, you know, you get different seasons in life to where you get good and the bad. One season you up, you up, you up. One yeah. season you down. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> that's that's the that's the law. That's the law. Yeah, that's the that's the law of logistics. So mm -hmm. I just want the the message just to get around. Yeah, you know? straight just, up. Just, and I want as our people. And when you say message get around, like mm -hmm. it, a lot of the time in our society, we don't receive messages and actually comprehend what the <clears throat> message actually means. Right. Because if I say something to you, you may misinterpret it mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I can't believe it. Blah, blah. It's like, dude. Everything I just said is supposed to be a love and light, an enlightening thing. Right. Yeah. But you're taking <laughs> it. Somehow, find somehow, a way to take it yeah, to yeah. Like I mean, that's that's, that's that's people. You know, yeah, people exactly. will make a wrong out of everything. You know, exactly. try to but, put a negative to a positive. But the ones that are willing to receive the message and the ones that are really and really willing to receive the love of the message mm -hmm. is what we're trying to get. I'm yeah. guessing what you're trying to yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I was gonna say. So as far as the message, real quick, was like one thing that you want to get out. Um, Part of the message. <clears throat> that we're lost people that we need to all come together and know that we can make our own government. You oh, know? yeah, for sure. Okay. We need our own hospitals, own everything, you know, mm -hmm. our own everything. If we, if we realize how powerful we are and how we really can take back the power. If we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, not to make it longer yeah. or whatever, but it's just like when the Confederate, they, they separated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They separated from the government. If we take that same knowledge and be like, we don't need y'all no more, and yeah, we exactly. separate, Mm -hmm. It's too many of us and not enough exactly. for them. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly. it's is like we just need to come together. That's yeah. the that's the whole thing. Like you know, we lost people. Yeah, man, I actually had this time. I had a similar conversation, but mine included everybody, not just uh, melanated or uh, melanated or unmelanated. Mm -hmm. Regardless of melanemic is what you would call it. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is there's four hundred thousand people in in ba in Bakersfield and you know in Bakersfield alone right. so nice. I thought about this I was like what if every single person started off with one of us mm -hmm. gave a dollar all 400,000 people gave a dollar to somebody mm -hmm. that would easily be every day every single day and every day would, every day, every day every they day. would go to a different around person. and give every mm -hmm. single person a dollar yeah so and then eventually all of us it wouldn't take that much time for all of us Probably to about actually years. gain $400,000 I believe it was like what you said It'd be the easy, it, techni technically it's like a really easy concept, mm -hmm. but yeah. a lot of people just don't think that simple. Well, when it comes yeah. To, yeah. But you know, because we need each other as human beings. That's that's pretty for much sure. What it is. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, man. We need to unite. We need to come together. Yeah, bro. Sure. That's that's what it is. Like mm -hmm. you know, we being overthrown by a government that's not that big. We actually right. Yeah. Like we, we we make it seem bigger than what it actually you, is. You feel exactly. me? So you know. Yeah. Exactly. But, it is what it is, though. But yeah. what do you guys got to say? Um, what's the best period of your life so far? What Man. do you think will be the best period of your life going forward? As Mike is uh, gesturing. Let us know down below. Drop some comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Um, Joe, do we got something else lined up for the people today? Well, right now, we can go to my favorite segment because I believe every single day we should learn something. Learn something. Yeah. Every Facts. single day, learn knowledge something. Knowledge is so, power. Ex Facts. And knowledge is only power <laughs> if you actually use that knowledge. So Facts. we got to uh, incorporate our knowledge in everyday life. So let's go yes, to our my favorite segment. Uh, actually, I have two favorite segments. I always say favorite segment. <laughs> but, you know, every whatever. damn segment. Every damn segment is my damn favorite. But today I learned. Here we go. That's right. Today I learned. Are you, are, are you familiar with uh, how we do this? Uh, no, but I'm So ready. all of this, this is uh, from Reddit, uh, from the subreddit, Today I Learned. Hey. Uh, we just took some screenshots, got some headlines, and we're just going to talk about them. Let's go. So I'll go ahead and start off this, this uh, with this one. Today I learned your zodiac sign is probably wrong. They were created over 3,000 years ago. The Earth's tilt has changed since then, so the constellations appear in completely different positions in the sky. Okay. I, I don't know much about astrology so, or zodiac yeah, signs. So, like my, so I could say that most of the time they're not going to be like necessarily totally accurate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, but I do see some of the things that they read. Like, for instance, I'm a Cancer, so mm -hmm. like I do see that certain things that they depict in there is like that they make emphasis of mm -hmm. is the fact you know a lot of us are very 
um, emotional. We have a lot of emotions. Where, you know, we can cry a drop of a dime or anything like that. Right. Yeah. And so, like, I, and I am like that. So, mm-hmm. like, I like I say in so many of my songs, I wear my heart on my sleeve because I'm not afraid to say all my emotions or what I feel mm-hmm. at that moment. And so, certain elements of cancers, mm-hmm. uh, when I read it, it does apply yeah, to right, me. Right, it does apply. But to me, that technically is with every every single person. So, cancers could also that particular thing could apply to any any right. other. Exactly. Any other zodiac sign. Mm-hmm. So it's really, if you believe it or not. I yeah, I don't know. Do you know much about uh, um, zodiac signs and horoscopes and whatnot? I know that we're in. We're supposed to be in the year of Aquarius. I know the cycle changes. Right. Yeah. Changes to Aquarius. How, when, when was that again? Uh, I think 2012. 2013, 2012. Yeah, something there, like right? that. Yeah. Because they, because they, they said that that's what the whole 2012 thing was. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. The world wasn't ending. We were just going into a new, a di- to new, new era. Yeah, a new dimension. Is, yeah, which was the Aquarius. And, yeah. 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 So that's yeah. yeah, that's probably about what I know. And they, you know, they only know 10 percent of what's up there exactly. right now. And exactly. they only know 10 percent. So there's, there's so much more still, knowledge that could be it's a lot. gathered from that. But yeah. it's a lot. All right. Let's go to the next one. Today, I learned <laughs> that Harambe's sperm was collected shortly after he died I'm so that done. his genes could live. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's oh my funny. god <laughs> but uh, uh these, uh, these lights are well, people are crazy <laughs> that is that's insane so you kill them but you then you're him. like hold on, hold on. i gotta I make sure his jeans live all right let me shut up yep <laughs> yep it was bad that's that's bad yeah. that's crazy that's horrible bro like that's, that's yeah you're gonna kill him but now hold on but let me uh save his sperm <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, how did they do it they ran to him like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, what? That, that's what I was saying. Because to to get oh, a sperm, man. isn't it a process? It's like it's the, I don't it's know. The body has to do a process to as get it As soon as he out. died, they probably was like, "Becky, go over there, <laughs> take care of him." Oh man! All right, I'll go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> these lights are very bright too. <laughs> You want to read? You want to read this? No, one? these lights are very bright. Oh, you, oh, you, you can't. You can't see it. No. Nah. Okay, I'll, I'll read it. That's for it. Today I learned in camera. parts of Europe you can find baby hatches, which are boxes placed near hospitals where parents can bring unwanted babies and leave them there. Are you serious? Oh. They're called baby hatches? So it's uh, like a little hatch, you just pull it down and like, and like a yeah, fucking yeah. mail, <laughs> like the mailbox. <laughs> That's insane. The where, USPS where and babies. I feel like you don't oh, have the man. decency to walk in the damn hospital. Uh, Man. What is that? That's crazy. Drop uh, it down a little shoot, baby starts rolling. Yeah, down. like <laughs> man. What? He rolls out into one of the baby beds. Yeah. <laughs> the baby has hatched. Like what? The, what you just say? Like uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what else to say. I don't either. I, I, I will say this though. I respect the people for actually giving the babies up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you instead don't of want, killing want them the babies, or doing exactly, anything, you know, I don't of killing them. Getting abortions or whatever. Stop doing do. stuff to make babies if you don't want. Yeah, it. straight up. Because that's, that, that's no, not that's cool. definitely true. But that's if not you cool. end up if you end up doing it regardless, yeah. and if you I, if, I, if, I, if I you know you're the, if you know you're the person that won't <laughs> take care of a damn kid, give it to somebody. Because there's so many people that can't have that kids can't have that kids, literally right, that physically can't, mm-hmm. and they want to. So give give them to them. I want to say something so bad, but okay. No, it's all good. We're we going to the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, or else we're going to be here all day. Yeah, right? I'm about to say Hillary, Clinton. Hillary Clinton. I ain't going to say nothing else, though. <laughs> this, one, this, one, this, one's, this one's funny. Today, today I learned George Jetson is born this year, 2022. Uh, so if you ever watch the Jetsons, technically, hmm. he would have been born today. <laughs> <laughs> He's a baby. He's a baby. Wow. Wait, so, so what year does the, does the Jetsons take place? Do you guys know? I thought it was like in the 30s. In the 3000s? No. Oh, you're talking about took So place. technically, he's probably like 30 something. So it'll probably be 2050 or 2060. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If he was born man. this year, then he would have been like. We still need yeah. them flying cars, man. So, I mean, we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we're it, we're it's getting there. Starting out. I mean, technically, a plane is a flying car. <laughs> right. Well, I sure do hope so, man. I feel like there's a lot of great that's technology true. that's being held back from the public. Damn it. Oh yeah, for and sure. We need we need that dance. I just saw the other day was a drone. A dude could like sit in a drone and he just like just fucking took off. He was in a drone. Yeah, he oh was in a drone. God. It was like a, a big drone. It was like maybe about the size of this. The dude <sighs> sat in the drone, just pressed the button or whatever, and then. 
You know, and that's funny. You know those, uh, I, I just randomly thought about that when you said this. It has nothing to do with technology that far yet. Uh -huh. But my, like, my daughter, had my dad and his wife bought her a Bentley, one of those cars that you have yeah. remote control. Uh -huh. and it was a Bentley. And I was like, yeah, this car's <laughs> better than mine. One of my coworkers. Got beat in his speakers. Exactly. Yeah, no, it got, it got Bluetooth. Was, <laughs> buy that, it was like $1,700. Yeah. Like, yeah. you could damn near buy him a car with yeah, that. Yeah, you might as well get him a little that. Honda. Yeah, you feel me? You know By the time he's 18, that Honda's going to be the perfect Honda in the world. For real. It should never break. Bad facts. Put two dollars a day in that damn car. Old, old old Toyotas and old Hondas like Man, will never yeah, be broken. Forever. Yep, those they things look. are God to the streets. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> facts, right yeah. facts though. Let's see if we, we have got, anything else. We, we talked like that was our first car, huh? Man. Yeah, uh, it probably was. It probably, probably was, was our what? first car. Probably was. Mine was a Mitsubishi. I had a yeah, Toyota. Mine was a, was a uh, Mitsubishi too, really? technically. Mine yeah, was mine a Toyota Tracel. Nice. Yeah, yeah man. Nice, nice. You still got it, huh? Nah, I wish I did, man. That little big car is probably like big as this, big as this table. <laughs> man, that's a go kart right there. Yeah, man. All right, what's yeah. this one? Today I learned there's an actual American football world championship held every four years. 13 teams from five continents have participated so far. Japan won the first two editions as USA didn't participate, while USA won the next three. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Um, I you know what I think I think I did hear about this. I think uh, the U.S. just sends out college kids. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's not even the good ones either, because <laughs> the good ones got to prepare for the pros oh, and everything. That's true. So they get the other that's college true. kids. They send them out to this American Football World Championship and dominate, kill them. Wow. You know what I mean? Like it's it's our second string college team yeah, going against their there. professionals and just dominating them. Yeah, that's I mean, just how good the U.S. is at football. I mean, it's, well, it's then part again, of our culture. But know? then again, it could just be also we're playing against their college players too, because we don't really know who we're actually playing against out there, as far as if they're actually pros or not. Because I if, know that that's. I would that's, think. Yeah, I, would I think, didn't even know. Japan I would think some of their pros are getting, or some of their college, like top string <clears throat> college kids, are also trying to get to the pros, because not every single pro is from, you know. You know what right, I'm saying? right, but it's not. But it's not. It's not I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but I'm just saying they're probably not the top top notch because if they no, were, from from <clears throat> well, I don't know about every single team involved, but I do know that there are some countries that have their pro teams, and that's what they yeah. send out to play. Like yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for sure. It's probably like they little Olympics and football or something like that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I didn't know awesome Japan part. actually had a. <clears throat> A football, football team, team. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, not crazy, but that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Today I learned. <laughs> what did you guys learn? Drop your comments down below. Did you guys enjoy any of those segments, uh, headlines? Yeah, yeah. So um, we got another segment right now. This is our last segment, and then we go and close out after this. But this is going to be fun. This is my my favorite segment of the show. <laughs> okay. Okay. Other my other favorite, other favorite of the show. <laughs> it's yeah. called Creative of the Week, and yeah. this week uh, the Creative of the Week is my boy. Trav Mooks. Uh, his name is Travis. He's a really dope artist. Uh, nice. He's he does all he does all his own recording and everything like that. But then he also but he has someone of course shoot his videos and everything. But mm -hmm. he you know he does his own all his own recording. I yeah, I believe uh, I forgot who it is. Uh, one of, one of our other mutual friends does all his mixing and mastering for him. Nice. But yeah, anyway nice. he's very anyway he's very talented and. Uh, I think the song is called Don't Need Friends. And the feature on this is, uh, his name is Rab. He's also a, a Bakersfield artist that's also really okay. dope. So, okay. All right. damn near excited for it. going out with the yes. two people, Creative of the Week. All right, let's get it. Got 
some broken from the coast. Yeah, she give me that stop it to your boy overload. Yeah, I never shook a coat. My bros, they kicking in your dope. While my bros blowing up, catch me pulling the boat. Eyes low like Tokyo. If there's one thing I know, never trust a bitch that's just how they can go. I don't need no friends with the bands. Where the money put it in my hand. I would never take handouts. I really like the way it's planned out. With a band. I fell asleep in Europe, then I woke up in Japan. Now they always say that I'm the man. Gotta keep it pushing, I'm just doing what I can. I don't need no friends with a band. I fell asleep in Europe, then I woke up in Japan. Now they always say that I'm the man. Gotta keep it pushing, I'm just doing what I can. Broke a brick and flipped a brick. Don't need no friends when I'm trapping. The 40 on me, not lacking. I'm catching with these packages. I'm playing. Bitch was swinging with his yell, bitch. I don't like a pill, bitch. I don't like no stale shit. I don't need no friends when it comes to my hands. I just want these Benjamins stacking up these Frank plans. Rolling in the Honda, but I'm scraping like a Benz. I done came from nothing. Food stamps at me stomach. Product of the East, motherfuckers know it's me. Fat kid up in the streets. Every day I'm trying to eat. Motherfuckers really get mad. No friends with a band. I just fell asleep in Europe, then I woke up in Japan. I don't need no friends with a band. I done fell asleep in Europe, then I woke up in Japan. Well, there we go. That was Trav Mooks. Don't need friends. Um, what do you guys think? I, I like the video. Uh, it was shot really nice. Really dope beat. Uh, the really beat, beat. The beat was really dope. Yeah. Um, really good beat. The you know obviously the vocals are kind of you know up to date. You know the auto tune or whatever. But a lot overall, of huh? I said a lot, a lot of, yeah, auto-tune. a lot of auto tune. That was probably my only critique towards it. Is a lot of auto tune. But overall, for me, I think he did. I think he did. I think he did good. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. We, All right. Yeah. Anything else we want to add, guys, before we close the show out? Only thing I could say is if you like the video of Trav Mooks, comment down below mm-hmm. and go hit this dude up. You know, everybody needs support once in a while. You know what I'm saying? So go support that man. And especially if you actually do like his music. And <coughs> let us know what is your best period uh, of your life Facts. and what your future holds for you what mm-hmm. you want to have in the future drop the comments below drop we love some engaging below. guys we love to talk to you guys um so with that we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up uh we're, we're gonna go ahead and let you guys know that we'll be back next week i uh, i don't think mike dilla will be here no. next time but i do appreciate him stopping by yes, sir. Thank Shout you out mike dilla. Appreciate it. By. Appreciate it. follow mike dilla on everywhere tell, tell uh tell the people where to find you <clears throat> you can find me on Anywhere they selling music, uh, Mike Dilla, all my albums are there. I'm actually dropping another album on February 1st, Black History Month. Mm-hmm. So y'all be aware, it's called Day. It's going to be a double disc, but I'm, I'm dropping the, the, the Day album first. Mm-hmm. So yeah, y'all be aware, there it man. Is, but guys, tune in, tap in with the boy Mike one, Dilla. One, one last thing. How do you spell Dilla? D-I-L-L-A. Okay, really quick, easy. Yeah, there you go. Go follow that guy right point. there. Go follow Trav Mooks, and I think we're going to wrap this up, right? Yes, sir. Make sure you do the damn thing. Tap back in next week. Until then. Deuces. Hey. O-N-G. Well, we keep going because the party don't stop. We turn up. Doing our thing, just living our lives. And we don't stop. Open my group so you know we won't flock. We on top. Come to the party, you don't wanna.